Hello everyone, this is Chris Eberly, an engineer at Plexum. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this month's video, I will discuss a three-phase neutral point clamped solar inverter model. The model simulates the reaction of the system to an islanding situation from the power grid and employs advanced control design features of Plex. Our next Model of the Month video could feature your model. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, Send it to info at plexum.com with a description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work. To view pre-built models in Plex, go to the Window, Demo Models, Menu Entry. On the left, the demo models are categorized by Power Electronics Area. You can choose models based on our physical domains or the Plex version they are released in, as well as search for them. Each model has a description along with a few references. To open a model, click on the link at the top right corner. Note that this model discussed in this video is not included in the demo model library. Let's first focus on the electrical system. At the left side is a simplified solar array represented by an idealized DC voltage of 800 volts. The PV array is then interfaced to a three-level inverter with a midpoint connection made to the DC source. The inverter system is then connected to a 120 volt RMS balanced three-phase grid operating at a frequency of 60 Hertz. Finally, the model includes a test load defined in the IEEE 1547 standard, which is regarding interconnecting of distributed generation resources into the power grid. The load is used to demonstrate that the inverter system is capable of detecting an islanding scenario under worst case conditions. Islanding is a dangerous situation where the power generation continues despite the lack of connection to the grid. The model includes disconnects by means of ideal circuit breakers to redirect the grid power flow from the inverter to the test load. The model also contains a set of control algorithms leveraging a few advanced Plex features. We are using ADC and EPWM high fidelity peripheral models contained in the Plex process in a loop library to closely mimic the behavior of these peripherals for a Texas Instruments MCU. The core control logic is then included using a software in the loop approach. Looking under the mask of the SIL subsystem, we see there is a multi-threaded control scheme with two main control tasks executing at 10 kHz and 1 kHz respectively. In the first task, we use a Plex DLL block to repeatedly call a local library file that has several functionalities built in. These include a phase locked loop for sensing the grid frequency and phase angle, a synchronous frame current regulator for accurate control of active and reactive power, space vector pulse width modulation for achieving minimal inverter output current distortion, and active neutral point balancing. With the DLL block, the code cannot be inspected as it has already been compiled, in this case for a Windows operating system. The second control task uses the Plex state machine environment for supervisory control. Included with the system monitoring and fault handling logic is inverter islanding detection based on a slip mode frequency shift algorithm. With the state machine block, Plex lets you graphically create and edit state machines using common concepts such as boxes for states and curved arrows for transitions and simulate them together with a surrounding system. A state machine is an incredibly powerful tool which can be used to control model, and predict system behavior. The output of a state machine depends on the entire history of its inputs, which makes it a great alternative to the C-Script, DLL, and other control library blocks found in Plex. Looking at the state machine diagram, one can easily see the system startup states, transitions, and fault monitoring logic. To learn more about the state machine block, check out last month's Model of the Month video from February 2018 about a buck converter with constant on-time control, or refer to the inbuilt documentation. Now, let's go back to the top level. At simulation startup, all three of the breakers are closed so that the PV system is tied to the grid and the test load is connected in parallel. We can now run the simulation by selecting Start from the simulation menu. 
Observe how at the beginning of the simulation, all of the power for the IEEE 1547 RLC load is supplied by the grid, as can be seen in the 50 amp currents. Once the PLL locks in at around 10 milliseconds, the inverter enables its output at which point the grid current drops to almost zero. At around 100 milliseconds, the grid is disconnected from the rest of the system via the opening of breaker 3 and the inverter forms an island. This situation is detected with the aid of the slip mode frequency shift algorithm and the inverter shuts down within 10 milliseconds. I hope you enjoyed this video on a three-phase solar inverter that uses a software-in-the-loop controller implementation with the Plex DLL and state machine blocks. Please submit your Plex models to info at plexum.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com. Thanks for watching.